Thursday the 13th 2018 as you can see we're starting off with a House of Commons library briefing page um, number 07212 3rd of June 2015 European Union referendum bill 2015-2016 <clears throat> five types of referendum the bill requires a referendum to be held on the question of the UK's continued membership of the European Union in brackets EU dictatorship before the end of 2017 here's where it gets interesting in yellow it does not contain any requirement for the UK government to implement the results of the referendum in other words if they vote to leave you don't have to do it one nor set a time limit by which a vote to leave the EU should be implemented instead this is a type of <clears throat> referendum referendum known as a pre-legislative or consultative which enables the electorate to voice an opinion which the then influence the government in its policy decisions the referendums held in Scotland Wales and Northern Ireland in 97 and 98 are examples of this type where opinion was tested before legislation was introduced in yellow again the bottom line the bottom of the yellow one the UK does not have constitutional provisions which would require the results of a referendum to be implemented <clears throat> unlike for example the Republic of Ireland where the circumstances in which a binding referendum should be held are set out in its constitution there you have it in Blackwell and yellow there's no way they are ever really going to leave Europe it's already a done deal there it is in black and white and the most important bits are in yellow I'll let that sink in for a bit Britain's first private police force to go nationwide after success in London's wealthiest neighbourhoods. Britain's first private police force is set to be rolled out across the nation following its success in three of London's wealthiest neighbourhoods. The force called My Local Bobby makes citizens arrests and can gather evidence to launch private prosecutions. Clients who pay up to £200 a month are given a direct line to a local office. Uh, officer so it's military who they can also track on an iPad and enjoy a meeting and greeting a meet and greet service from tube stations or cars the scheme which was set up by former Met Office David McKelvey and Tony Nash is currently being trialed in Belgravia Mayfair and Kensington Kensington in other words it's a private police force for the rich cashless society <clears throat> well work under as you can see cash machines closing at a rate of more than 250 a month all too often it's small business who are being hurt the most by these changes the number of ATMs fell by 1,300 to 53,200 between the end of January and the start of July a report from cash machine network link revealed this is again a simply a, a major push for a cashless society and some of you go <coughs> cashless society what's the problem I can't get robbed no but you'll need a chip either here or here or here oh and if you're saying things we don't like at the very least We'll just turn your chip off so you can't buy any food or anything and if you're really a naughty little per being we'll get it to self-destruct which will release poison into your system and kill you oh and by the way and if you get a parking ticket for instance because you know there's virtually no way you can park these days where you haven't got to pay and if you get a parking ticket they can just deduct it directly out of your account 
That doesn't matter if you've got no money left for food or to pay gas, electric, rent, anything like that. It doesn't matter. They'll just deduct it direct. This is the biggest Orwellian footprint coming down on the face of humanity. If we allow this to happen, we could lose. Finally, before we get to the news, guess who's still in charge of your gas safety? Brits. Capita. Out of the frying pan, into the frying pan. Hard pressed outsourcing biz capita was today uh, selected by the health, health and safety executive to manage the gas safety register for five years, including overseeing the competence of engineers listed. The five year agreement kicks off April Fool's Day 2019 and is valued for, on, by the lo local stock market 93 million. This is ridiculous. Absolutely, utterly ridiculous. This is this is the the parasites giving money to the parasites via capita. And if you can't see that yet, maybe there's no saving you. Express. <clears throat> On your marks, fashion fans, race to us. Snap up Holly's M&S range. Really. Are we still that thick that you're going to go and waste more money on something because it's got her name on it? She hasn't decided, it's just got her name on it, and so that whacks an extra tenner on the cost of it, which goes directly to her. Are we really that dumb still? Egypt holiday Brits killed by E. coli. And here we get into the more of the propaganda. This is this is planned. This is absolutely planned. As Jacob Rees-Mogg and his young children are confronted outside their home by a hate-filled leftist mob, we ask, how has our country come to this? Ah, you see. Now, what the what the plan is here? It's that you should all be outraged. Oh, this is terrible. The man with his child on the doorstep, by the even with his security guard at the door behind him with his gun and all. There must be some safety for this. We must stop the, 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 these sort of uh, anyone protesting against a, bu a, a bunch of uh, parasitic, parasitical scum. So we'll bring in a new rule that means there's no protesting outside um, their place. In fact, although I must point this out, let's go back to the top here. Hate filled leftist mob. Now look at this picture. Do you see a mob in this picture, or do you see Reese Mogg, a kid, his bodyguard, and an old bloke? That's the mob. That one bloke is the mob, apparently, according to this paper. Star. Only fools use cigs. Del Boy's pal Mickey says smoking ruined his life. Apple's big idea. Mm, last time we heard of a big idea, it was 1991 and it was Bush Senior talking about their big idea to have a new world order. And when we're success successful, and we will be, we've got a great chance of this new world order, the foot stamping down on the face of humanity f forever, because we're all Satanists, you know. New star. New street star, Maureen Lippman, Corrie's made me depressed. Well, we know what you mean, because that's what it's designed to do. So if you're watching Coronation Street, EastEnders, or any of all the rest of the shite that's out there, they have one main job. Well, many main jobs, but the main job is to depress you and keep you down. This is why it's all um, murder, uh, affairs, um, man woman man man woman woman all that sort of shit it's to program you to being a compliant dumbed down depressed slave stop watching the propaganda daily fail Five to two guru, Dr. Michael Mosley, life-changing diet to beat diabetes. A vegan, or even a vegetarian, organic vegetarian diet. 
will beat diabetes. So will cannabis oil and there are numerous other things out there. So don't get stuck in thinking you've only got their bullshit. There's loads of other ways around it. And now as to the headline, a topic off to my heart as you all know. How much can drivers take? Prices at the pump rise for 10th week in a row. They've hit a four year high and Chancellor hints at £160 a year fuel tax raid on all of us. They don't want you travelling. They don't want you able to afford to travel. That's why they're doing it this way. Because if they know, they know if they came out and said, no, you can't travel, there'd be an uproar. Uprising even. So they're doing it by the back door by making it so expensive you can't afford to travel. This is their way of getting you off the roads into your little prison cells. Corbyn probed over Commons aid who hasn't passed security checks. Shocked? Wow! You could have knocked me down with a feather. The Times. Help, I just can't stop shopping. Then you've got a serious problem. A problem on the likes of alcoholism, gambling, that sort of problem. Tories blast Welby for parroting Labour view. Archbishop tells unions to take on economic evil. So, the Satanist paedophile Welby is talking about economic evil. And we have plenty of that, that's a given. But he is, in fact, himself evil, and he's trying to make himself look like an angel. Oh, with my little halo, I'm an angel. Look, I'm saying good things, even though I'm a demon inside. Mum's net is driving fear of childbirth, experts warn. And the pictures, someone who survived a ha hammer attack. <clears throat> Down the bottom left there. Threat to Britain. The greatest strategic threat to Britain comes from President Trump. Egypt's, Egypt deaths dispute. The daughter of British couple has rejected the, an official explanation that the outbreak of E. coli was the blame for her death of her parents. ECG on smartwatches. Now pay attention. Apple has announced the latest version of its smartwatch saying it offers uh, consumers the first over-the-counter electrocardiogram yeah, function. Now these, these, these watches, they're getting you all to wear in that. And some of you out there, you love them, you pay for things, you think it's great and all that. They're turning you into an android. Some of these actually can get to your blood through your skin. You're becoming an android. You're letting these machines inside yourself, which has been the plan all along. This is why we've had like Star Trek with Geordie and uh, Terminator and all that sort of stuff. It's all to get you ready to accept being an android or part human android. Here's more bullshit. Brussels border force. The European Union has announced plans for a 30,000 strong armed border force with ex extensive powers to detain migrants and deport failed asylum seekers. Now this is more just smoke and mirrors. It's because they know that the indigenous population of, Europe, of each different part of Europe has had enough of this bullshit which has been carried out by all our governments and they will continue. So they're doing this to make you think, oh, they're putting something to stop it. No, that's to make you think they're going to stop it. While in actual fact, they're increasing the amount of immigrants coming in because they want us over, over, roar, over, taken over by them before anything, we stand up and say we've had enough because it's getting to the point very soon where we won't be able to say stand up without enough because we'll be outnumbered. 
But hey, that's just my opinion. If you don't want, to, you don't believe that. You wait till it happens. Bank Moore's dividend. Royal Bank of Scotland could use up a, up to four billion in surplus capital to pay a special one-off dividend to shareholders. Its chairman, Sir Howard Davis, has said. So, the Royal Bank of Scotland. Oh, I, I'm not going to go to, go into this because it'll just drive me up the wall. Football agents finding apparently four out of every five transfers deals are done by the same guy. So he's a multi-millionaire because he gets a kickback of every deal he does. Mirror. Girl of 15 raped by Premstar. Apparently it was in France in 2012. Um, so it must have been during the World Cup. So it could be anyone. Of course, not, not saying he did it, but they think they can get away with everything these days. So has Holly's new fashion range hit the marks? No, not really, because it looks horrible. Archbishop's tax fury. Deliverers from evil. Church leader blasts Amazon. Leeches for not paying fair share. Let's just rephrase that. Church leader blasts Amazon for not paying any tax. He condemns greedy bosses and despicable zero hours jobs. Yes, I think we'll all agree with that. But let's not forget, he's, he's a, one of them. He went to Eton with Cameron and Blair and all the rest of the gender benders. The Guardian. World, world is sleepwalking towards new financial crisis, says Brown. Well, he would know because he's one of them that's causing it. And he's in with the in crowd, so he would definitely know. And let's not forget, he's also a renowned, proven paedophile. But he's still walking free. How's that then? It's because when you're one of them parasitical scum, you can do anything, including rape and kill children oh you just carry on as though nothing's happened because who's gonna go after you the police with their freemason satanic scumbag chief inspectors in charge think again think again and you might say well, how do i know this this and that's because there's a, 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 a cop i know who was getting quite high up the ranks got to a certain point where he was told you're not getting any further unless you become a freemason so to get any further, he had to become a Freemason. He didn't, he quit. He was a good man. Anyone that's up there of any sort of level is a Freemason. And if you don't know it by now, you should do. Freemasonry is satanic. Clamp down on rescue ships puts lives at risk. Really? You mean not putting enough um, rescue ships out there is could be dangerous oh well could have knocked me over with a feather that's twice in this this one ready for takeoff va's new scottish star now i'm only going to read a little bit of this um we're at the river to blah 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 we're supporting supporters hoping that the 80 million institution will this thing cost 80 million pounds what a complete and utter waste of money but because it's you paying for it, they don't give a shit how much it costs. Because you get to pick up the tab. Lucky you. Telegraph. Mayday inside the government war games. And the war games are playing are how they're going to get away with t turning a dictatorship into an accepted ship. Which is what they're working on. That's the war games they're working on. Voters' flirtation with Marxism is crisis of Tories' own making. No, no one wants Marxism. We just want freedom. We want freedom to do what we want as long as it causes no harm or loss to anyone else. That's it. You follow that, them two things and that's it. You break them two things, then, yeah, you, you know, it's obvious. <clears throat> Why Brexiteers can't agree on a rival to Chequers? Because we don't want any of that shit. 
we want them to repeal the 72 Act and say, so long, Europe. Getting rid of the PM could scupper a clean Brexit. Oh, we better not do it then. We better keep the satanic Luciferian paedophile, haven't we? UK won't pay EU bill without a Brexit deal. There's another reason why we don't want a Brexit deal. We just repeal the 72 Acts and... Uh, <coughs> Naomi rocks a coat in New York. It's a very poorly shaded coat and you can see where they've used it uh, down on the legs you can see it's, it's a copy of the same thing that uh, it's just it's just a waste of space and they're going to charge something ridiculous i'm not even going to look and see if they have put the price down there but it's ridiculous Skype calls for all in revolution of gps services in other words it needs to be increased so we can track them down to a millimeter so we can find them when we when we need to go get them and send them off to the concentration camps I quality concise the future of unindependent journalism makes you smile Skitastrophe Switzerland Switzerland running out of snow well don't worry it's getting to the time where it's going to start again no, no, no big deal the Tom Watson diet how he shed diabetes by turning vegan or vegetarian organic if you can afford it or grow your own even better all you need to know about Apple's latest latest bullshit why Fenella Fielding is a hero of our times I think that's looks like the one that played the original one in the odd you know the Gomez yeah that one the Adams family Tesco takes on little with new jacks discount stores well i've been in a um a little uh, a few days back i've looked around and it was i was quite impressed not all, not all of it but a lot of it was very very much cheaper but you're just gonna have to lower your prices aren't you never mind open jacks discount these are the cheaper made of the most shitty material foods you can get here you go america gets ready for a monster storm Fear! Fill them with fear! How I rediscovered new Jewish identity, a search for belonging in a fractured world. Tory plotters plan April coup against May PM. Brexiteers decide against trying to topple May now, but will pounce if, she, if there is ins insurrection at the party's conference in two weeks. Senior MPs tell I, so you can imagine, can't you? Uh, for instance, Rhys Mogg. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I'm just going to tell you, like, that April is preferred month to bring down the PM. Can you believe any of this shit that you read in these rags? Eurosceptics unveil their alternative plan for Irish border. I've got a plan for the Irish border. Let's do it like this, see. Let's just get rid of it and let Ireland become one. And they can look after themselves then. Seem like a fair proposal? Jacob Rees Moggs. Children heckled by anarchists. Ooh, they're anarchists this time. Just to get it in there, so when we bring in this, this new set of rules that you have agreed to by being on the voters register, so we can bring in more rules that apply to you just you know it's your fault anything that happens in parliament is your fault for being on the voters register but mark my vote makes a difference i've read it and i saw it on tv so it must be true metro let's get ready for some more propaganda and absolute bullshit Metro. Now here's Putin. Assassins. They're nice lads, really. Says Putin. Now, <clears throat> what they've done here to make it look like he's actually said that, they put a po photo of him where he's doing his speech like that. You know, see, I'm not hiding anything, unlike 
the British politicians, the American politicians, the French politicians, the German politicians, you know, the list goes on. And they've stuck a picture of the two scapegoats that they're, try they're trying to blame for the scripple, the Novichok bullshit fake attack. So it looks like Putin said, they're nice lads, really. Oh, get a grip. No one's buying this shit anymore, are they? Archbishop Bishop attacks welfare reforms. J Law, I'm a voyeur on social media. Branson in a pickle. Fury as rail boss says, I hate lateness, yet his trains are always late. Always. Kettle, pot, yeah. Anything but independent. Can Corbyn hold out on a final say? The truth about psychiatric wards. They're mental. Financial crashes scare a generation, scar a generation. Why Michael Gove is scared of farmers? Propaganda time. With gas masks made of bottles Idlib's children brace for a chemical attack from the West. Because here comes the bullshit. Assad's forces have used banned chemical weapons three times this year, according to a UN report, even though the one after the scripples was proven to be a fake one. And the one after that, proven to be a fake one. But no, this scum sheet is going to say there were three. And it wasn't it wasn't a fake one. It was carried out by Assad. And we know that because we had our men on the ground helping to organise it so we could blame Assad. Uh, uh, I have it. It's a Freudian slip by the paper there. Tories trading favours with Europe's far right. Party accused of backing Hungary's leaders, leader to gain Brexit help. No. Hungary's had enough. And... Yeah, they probably are going to leave Europe, and I can't wait till they do. And a it just takes one of them say, yeah, we're out, we're had enough, scrap any bullshit treaties, it's gone. The, the EU collapses. All the criminal activity comes to the surface. We lock all the bastards up. Financial times. Ten years after. How JP Morgan became the biggest post-crisis winner because they knew it was coming and planned for it. Uh, squeezing foreign student numbers, yeah, yeah. Grand design, Dundee V&A set for launch, 80 million waste. Oil heads towards four year high as hurricane heightened the supply fears. More bullshit. Storm to hit US East Coast, crude price tops 80, just as rise as Iran sanctions loom. So it's all bullshit, fear, and, you know, let's up everything, because we, we, we know it's close to the end now, so we've got to go for it. We can't turn around and go back now, because everyone out there, many out there, know what we've been up to, and they're going to demand our execution. So we've just got to push for the slave shit, I mean, the dictatorship that we need to save our souls, because we are Satanists after all. Guess what? There's no one coming to assist you. Your game's up. It's all over. Dennis Healy. World events do not occur by accident. They are made to happen, whether it is to do with national issues or commerce. And most of them are staged and managed by those who hold the purse strings.